Welcome to Unveiling the Cosmos, the podcast where we explore the fascinating tale of the universe's creation. I'm your host, Leonard, and today we have a special guest, Roseanne, an astrophysicist with a passion for unraveling the mysteries of our cosmos. Join us as we journey through time and space to understand the captivating story of the universe's birth. Today's podcast episode, Explaining the Creation of the Universe. Roseanne, thank you for joining us. Let's dive right in. How did the universe come to be? It's a pleasure to be here, Leonard. The creation of the universe can be traced back to the Big Bang, which occurred roughly 13.8 billion years ago. At that moment, all matter, energy, space, and time burst into existence from an infinitely small and dense point known as the singularity. Fascinating. So what happened after the Big Bang? After the Big Bang, the universe began to rapidly expand during a period called cosmic inflation. This exponential growth set the stage for the vastness we observe today. The Big Bang theory is the prevailing explanation for the origin of the universe. It posits that approximately 13.8 billion years ago, the entire cosmos was compressed into an extremely hot and dense point known as the singularity at this moment of tremendous energy, space, and time as we know them did not exist. It suddenly, an event of unprecedented proportions occurred, initiating the expansion of the universe. In the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang, cosmic inflation took place. During this brief period, the universe experienced exponential expansion at a mind-boggling rate, increasing its size by an unimaginable fact. This inflationary phase proposed by physicist Alan Guth in the early 1980s helps address several cosmological puzzles such as the uniformity of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the large-scale structure of the universe. As the universe expanded and cooled, it entered a phase where particles could form. Quarks and gluons combined to create protons and neutrons. However, the intense heat still prevented electrons from binding to these nuclei, resulting in a cosmic soup of particles and radiation. It wasn't until approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang that the universe had cooled sufficiently for electrons to combine with protons and neutrons, forming the first atoms, mostly hydrogen and helium. The evidence supporting the Big Bang and cosmic inflation comes from various sources, including the observed cosmic microwave background radiation. This faint glow permeating the universe is a relic of the hot early universe and provides vital clues about its history. Remarkably, this radiation was discovered accidentally in 1964 by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, earning them the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978. The study of the cosmic microwave background has not only strengthened our understanding of the universe's beginnings, but has also allowed scientists to make precise measurements of its age, composition, and rate of expansion. As we continue to probe deeper into the cosmos. Modern observatories like the Planck satellite and ground-based telescopes provide increasingly detailed maps of the early universe, corroborating the Big Bang theory and further refining our knowledge of cosmic inflation. Next, let's explore the formation of matter in the early universe, the birth of stars and galaxies, and the captivating journey they embarked upon over billions of years. As the universe expanded, how did atoms and matter come into existence? About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled enough for protons, neutrons, and electrons to combine, forming the first atoms. This allowed light to travel freely, giving birth to the cosmic microwave background radiation, a crucial piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. As the universe expanded and cooled down after the Big Bang, a pivotal moment occurred when particles began to interact in new ways. Roughly 380,000 years after the initial cosmic fireball, the temperature dropped to a critical point, allowing protons and neutrons to capture electrons and form the first stable atoms. Primarily hydrogen and helium atoms emerged from this cosmic alchemy. 
These elemental building blocks pave the way for the formation of all matter in the universe. The process of matter coming together was influenced by gravitational forces acting on slightly denser regions within the vast cosmic web of gas and dark matter. These regions became the seeds of future galaxies and galaxy clusters. Over time, gravity drew in more matter, causing these regions to grow denser and hotter in these colossal gravitational cauldrons, gases compressed and stars were... So what happened next in the grand cosmic drama? For over millions of years, gravity played a pivotal role, drawing matter into clumps, ultimately giving rise to stars and galaxies. These celestial bodies became the building blocks of the universe as we know it, baked within these immense clouds of gas and dust. The force of gravity became the architect of the cosmos. As gas concentrations increased, the pressure and temperature at the core intensified until a critical point was reached. This marked the beginning of nuclear fusion, a process where hydrogen atoms fused together to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. The energy radiated outward, countering the gravitational force, pulling the star inward, creating um, delicate balance. A star was born and illuminated the universe. These newborn stars varied in size, mass, and temperature, leading to diverse stellar types like massive blue giants, average yellow stars like our sun, and smaller, dimmer red dwarfs. Over time, clusters of stars began to form, bound together by gravity, and these clusters evolved into galaxies. These celestial conglomerates containing billions to trillions of stars started to inhabit the cosmos. Galaxies come in various shapes and sizes, spiral, elliptical, or irregular. And they formed intricate structures that have evolved through interactions and collisions over billions of years as galaxies took shape. Black holes also emerged at their centers. Supermassive black holes grew, possessing masses millions to billions of times that of our sun. Their immense gravitational pull influences the movement and evolution of entire galaxies. The study of stars and galaxies has not only enriched our understanding of the universe's history, but also provided insights into the fundamental properties of matter, the composition of galaxies, and the intricate interplay between dark and visible matter. Stars are captivating, but what's their role in shaping the universe? Stars have a remarkable life cycle. They fuse hydrogen into helium and then heavier elements through nuclear reactions. When massive stars reach the end of their lives, they explode in spectacular supernova, scattering these elements across space, enriching the cosmos with the building blocks for planets and life. It, throughout their lives, stars undergo remarkable transformations. The path a star takes depends on its initial mass. Our own sun, a relatively small star, will eventually evolve into a red giant before shedding its outer layers and becoming a white dwarf. However, for more massive stars, the story is different. When these massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they face a spectacular end in a supernova explosion. The tremendous energy release during the supernova scatters elements forged in the star's core, such as carbon, oxygen, and heavier elements like iron throughout the universe. These ejected elements then become the raw material for new generations of stars, planets, and even life. Indeed, all the atoms that make up our bodies and the earth were once created inside the fiery hearts of stars. We are quite literally made of stardust. Is the remnants of massive stars after supernova can also lead to the formation of neutron stars or, in extreme cases, black holes. Neutron stars are incredibly dense, packing the mass of a star into a sphere only a few miles in diameter. Black holes, on the other hand, possess gravity so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. That's incredible. How did planets and solar systems form? As the universe continued to evolve, the remnants of previous generations of stars played a crucial role in shaping the cosmos further. Within vast molecular clouds enriched with elements from supernovae, the birth of new stars and planetary systems occurred. A, around 4.5 billion years ago, one such cloud, the solar nebula, our own solar system began to take shape. The solar nebula 
was a spinning disk of gas and dust surrounding the young sun. As the center of the disk grew hotter, it eventually ignited as a star. Yet, alaniously, the surrounding material began to clump together due to gravity. The inner region closer to the sun consisted primarily of rocky materials, while the outer region contained more gas and ice. Over time, the tiny grains of dust collided and stuck together, forming planet Simuls. These planet Simuls continued to grow, sometimes undergoing violent collisions that eventually led to the formation of planets. In our solar system, rocky planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars formed in the inner region, while gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn formed in the outer regions. The smaller icy bodies further from the sun gave rise to the outer planets like Uranus and Neptune. This complex dance of gravitational interactions and collisions sculpted our solar system into the remarkable arrangement we see today. Our story wouldn't be complete without life. How did life come about? While the exact origins of life remain a topic of ongoing research, it's believed that life emerged on Earth around 3.5 to 4 billion years ago Yep, simple organisms eventually evolved into more complex life forms, leading to the diverse and remarkable ecosystems we have today. With a solar system in place, Earth, our home, became a crucible for life to emerge. The origin of life remains a subject of ongoing research and debate among scientists. While the exact mechanisms are still not fully understood, several theories attempt to explain the, the process. One prominent theory suggests that life on Earth might have begun around 3.5 to 4 billion years ago in a primordial soup of simple organic molecules. These molecules, possibly sparked by energy from lightning or volcanic activity, could have undergone chemical reactions leading to the formation of more complex organic compounds. Over time, these compounds might have assembled into the first self-replicating structures, laying the foundation for the emergence of the first single-celled organisms. These early life forms thrived and diversified, eventually leading to the staggering biodiversity that populates our planet today. It's awe-inspiring how the universe evolved, but what's in store for its future? As the universe expansion is ongoing and based on current observations, it appears it will continue to expand indefinitely. The fate of the cosmos remains uncertain, with possibilities ranging from a big freeze to a big grip or even a big crunch. Understanding these potential outcomes is a thrilling challenge for astrophysicists. And as our understanding of the universe deepened, astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery. The universe is expanding. The galaxies are moving away from each other, and this expansion is occurring at an accelerating rate. This observation led to the theory of dark energy, a mysterious force that counteracts gravity and causes the expansion to accelerate. If your fate of the universe depends on the balance between dark energy and gravity, if dark energy continues to dominate, the universe will face a big freeze. As it expands, Galaxies will drift farther apart and eventually stars will burn out, leaving the cosmos cold and dark. Alternatively, if dark energy strength weakens, gravity could eventually overcome its influence, causing the universe to contract. This scenario, known as the Big Crunch, would bring all matter back together in a cataclysmic collision. However, recent observations have introduced yet another possibility, the Big Rip. In this scenario, dark energy's repulsive force would become so strong that it tears apart galaxies, stars, and ultimately even atoms, leading to the dissolution of the universe. Determining the ultimate fate of the cosmos remains an active area of research. And as we continue to explore the universe, we may one day uncover the answer to this grand cosmic question. Until then, the unfolding story of the universe continues to captivate and inspire us all. Rosane, the fate of the universe is truly awe, inspiring and mysterious. The potential outcomes of a big freeze, big crunch, or big rip keep us pondering the vastness of space and time. As we look back on the incredible journey we've taken through the creation of the universe, it's humbling to realize that we are connected to this grand cosmic story. Absolutely. Leonard, the beauty of understanding the universe's creation lies not only in unraveling its origins, but also in realizing that we are an integral part of this 
cosmic tapestry, the atoms that make up our bodies, the stars that shine in the night sky, and the galaxies that swirl in the cosmos all share a common origin. It's a reminder of how interconnected and interdependent everything is in the universe. Our quest for knowledge has opened new doors to exploration, discovery, and understanding. Indeed, and it's essential to continue our pursuit of knowledge and exploration. The mysteries of the cosmos are vast, and with each revelation, we gain a deeper appreciation for our place in the universe. As we conclude this episode of Unveiling the Cosmos, I want to extend my gratitude to you, Roseanne, for sharing your expertise and passion for astrophysics. Your insights have illuminated the wonders of the universe and made this journey truly unforgettable. Thank you, Leonard, for having me on the show. It's been a pleasure to discuss the universe's creation, the birth of stars and galaxies, and the enigmatic forces shaping our cosmos. Let's continue exploring the cosmos together and inspiring curiosity in everyone around us. Absolutely. And to our listeners, thank you for joining us on this cosmic voyage. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and gained a deeper appreciation for the remarkable story of the universe's creation. Stay curious, keep looking up, and we'll see you next time on Unveiling the Cosmos. Farewell, everyone. Until next time.